Hello everyone, we are the designers from South County Gadgets and this is Project Socket Steward. Project Socket Steward has two technical directors, Jamie Murdoch, who graduated from URI in 1984 with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. He is the creator and owner of South County Gadgets, which is an entrepreneurial endeavor that he has undergone. The other technical director, which is assisting our team, is Joseph Gundel. He graduated with a Master's of Science in Computer Engineering from Florida Atlantic University in 2010. He is currently a Senior Embedded Software Engineer at Hayward Holdings. This is our team of designers. Starting from the left, we have Samuel Isaacson, Brian Bissonette, Liam Brennan, Logan Brooks, Ulug Benga Ulu Fasola, and Andrew Ribeiro. So our company is a company called South County Gadgets. It was founded by our technical director named Jamie Murdoch. He was previously a sponsor and a capstone tenant director for three other URI projects and four uh, capstone projects at University of Massachusetts in Dartmouth. He is an entrepreneurial firm and he's determined to make a difference by challenging the current industry standards that were made to affect the quality of potentially hazardous products. The motivation behind our project is to allow users to safely use their appliances without the risk of burning their house down, damaging their appliances, or electrocuting themselves. Thousands of fires from faulty electrical wiring cause hundreds of deaths and hundreds of millions of dollars in damage each year. Our aim is to detect faults and outlets and prevent the fire hazards shown on the screen from occurring. Then the socket steward will halt, inform the user on what happened, and let them know how to address the issue in order to proceed. By challenging the industry standard on electrical wiring and educating the public, we hope to create a higher standard of innovation while protecting people, the environment, and the economy. Our anticipated best outcome from May 2023 is to have our functioning prototype and to conduct testing on its functionality as well as its shortcomings. If testings are accurate, efficient, and shows durability through multiple trials and experiments, we can develop a proper and compact version of the prototype. The prototype may not have permanent housing as we may need to have access to various components in circuits for the analysis or possibly reevaluation. My name is Olubenga Olufashola. The key accomplishments so far for the key socket seaward have been on industry and hazard research, features and component selection for the socket seaward, determine location of thermal runaway on the plug, the draft block diagram for the socket seaward, consulting with Atali and Joe Gondel, and the initial PCB and schematic design. South County Gadgets has yet to bring a product to market. This being said, the Socket Steward would be the first product for the company to release. Hopefully, the Socket Steward is the first of many products and is able to build up South County Gadgets into a successful and profitable company, allowing for the future development of products that aim to help and protect the general public from common safety hazards. The economic impact of this product could very well decide the entire future of South County Gadgets as a company, and could open the door for the company to be a part of creating new safety standards in homes around the world. My name is Brian Bissonnette. I'm an electrical engineering major, and this is the block diagram for the socket steward, which includes all the desired features that we wish to include for the prototype. This is subject to change as we progress into further stages of development, where construction and testing could require the addition of more features. As an electrical engineering major of the team, my focus has been the hardware side of the product, and my contributions include researching the causes of electrical fires, whether they were from bad wiring, malfunction, or third-party intervention, along with if any of these causes could be detected consistently enough to determine if a feature could be added to the socket steward that could prevent those hazards. In the lab, I conducted thermal testing of the attachment plug prongs and outlet contacts. This was done by using thermistors to evaluate the temperature of the contacts while the contacts themselves were being heated to create a simulated hazard, such as arcing or loose wiring, that would cause these areas to heat up and possibly ignite. Through this testing, we were able to determine the ideal locations for temperature sensors on the outlets and plugs. Through the discussed research, a list of hazards and possible features to detect them were agreed upon by the team that should be included on the product. To make these features a possibility, components that were necessary for sensing this data needed to be selected, along with the circuits that made them function. This required specifications that needed to be met for each sensor and component to function and communicate properly. 
With the components agreed upon and selected, I was able to begin a schematic using the software circuit maker to create the necessary circuits for the components. With this software, some custom symbols, parameters, and footprints for the components required me to make them myself in order to start realizing the circuits into a schematic layout. In the spring semester, I hope to finish the full list of required components as more or reworked features become added, complete the entire PCB schematic, create a breadboard prototype of the schematic, and use it in scenarios, both found and created, to test its functionality and to check to see if it performs the required goals. From these tests, I hope to be able to improve the design to fix any holes in its performance and possibly find more features to add before making it into a compact and functional product. I would like to now introduce designer Liam Brennan. My name is Liam Brennan. I'm majoring in electrical engineering and during the fall semester, my contributions to the project have been research data and causes in regards to home electrical fires, I've researched features that we want to include in our design and functionality for Project Socket Steward. I've spliced and soldered a coaxial cable to a 3.5 millimeter female jack for our AC current probe. I've assisted in the construction of a rudimentary setup of Socket Steward, which includes wiring of a three wire male outlet plug to a four gang box connected to our main power on and off setup. I've soldered four sets of 16 gauge wire and four sets of 12 gauge wire to banana jack solder tabs to be able to observe voltage and current. I've wired a jumper cable from our main box to a secondary box for testing purposes. I've researched components that are compatible with our specific design requirements and I've added the components that will be used to our PCB library. The technical contributions I want to complete by May are design a custom 3D model for a faceplate that will be attached to our four gang receptacle housing box, sketch and design a custom PCB schematic to minimize the form factor, design and draft a custom housing box and faceplate with cutouts for an OLED display, speakers and buttons, and assemble a prototype for field tests and then conduct field tests for data collection. I would like to now introduce designer Logan Brooks. Hello, my name is Logan Brooks, and I am part of the hardware team that is working on the development of the Socket Steward. My technical accomplishments to date include the research of several common household hazards, along with techniques to avoid these hazards. I have worked alongside my team to research various components and features that we intend on implementing into our final product. I have also been responsible for the development and wiring of our prototype, along with creating testing fixtures to ensure the reliability of the components and features of our product. The technical accomplishments that I am aiming to achieve by the end of May are to complete the printed circuit board for our project, finish the development of our initial prototype, and take part in multiple field tests to allow the team to collect data so that we may improve upon our design and the reliability of our product. Though the spring semester will eventually end, this does not mean my team and I will be finished contributing to the development of the Socket Steward. The goal is to see the project through and help bring our design to market. I would now like to introduce designer Sam Isaacson. Hi, my name is Sam Isaacson. I am an ELE major and I have worked on the hardware team of the Socket Steward project. My technical contribution started with a lot of research. I looked into what causes house fires, how do these things occur, and what are some safety regulations that current electrical equipment has in place. From that, we compiled several spreadsheets with hazards we aim to prevent, the features that will prevent these hazards, and then which components best address the features we wish to include. Along the way, I took part in and observed in several different tests, one of, it, one of which was to see which parts of a plug heat up during thermal runaway through a thermal camera. I also created different testing equipment and devices to help us conduct some of our own experiments, like the splicing and soldering of a 12 volt 10 to 1 transformer to a BNC cable. My technical contributions that I look forward to achieving before May include finalizing the list of components that we need. Then I will look to assembling all of our components together to create a prototype that will be used for testing with my peers. With the prototype, I will conduct field tests to obtain data to see if our design meets the expectations and specifications of our anticipated design. If so, I will begin working on the final design with, with a printed circuit board, but if not, I will brainstorm with my colleagues what improvements and modifications are necessary in order for the socket steward to meet 
all of its goals. I would now like to introduce designer Olubenga Olufasola. My name is Olubenga Olufasola, team software for the Stock and Seaboard. My technical contribution so far have been on thermal testing of outlet counters and plug, research on making a spreadsheet of warnings on fire preventions, research on causes of appliance fire, soldering and splicing of 10 volt 10 to 1 transformer to BNC cable, and soldering of two resistors in parallel onto the transformer to BNC cable, research on programming language and integrated development environment that could be used for socket seaboard prototype. I also look through the compile processor platform list for the socket seaboard and research on features to add for the socket seaboard. My technical contribution to be completed for me will be to code the outboard prototype development to detect the signature of Azro's power impairment for the socket seaward, to perform unit testing and also to conduct field tests with socket seaward prototype to utilize data from field tests to make an improvement on the software. I will now hand it over to the next team member, Andrew Ribeiro. Thank you all. My name is Andrew Ribeiro. So the technical contributions I have made to this project thus far have been researching data and providing general reports in regards to electrical fires and the causes of them, determining features and potential ideas for the final product, disassembling power ships to get measurements, and researching and finalizing the potential processor platforms for development. And my technical contributions I plan on doing that I know I will would be designing software for sensing faults, temperatures, and other things that may need to be measured, as well as the final hardware design for the final product. There will be additional contributions as time goes on, but that is what I know that I'll be doing at least right now. Our future accomplishments for the spring semester include finishing development of the software and its platform, finishing the schematic layout for prototype and printed circuit board schematic, determining the setup for LEDs, screen display, and user interaction, to conduct a variety of field testing to collect data and test efficiency, and to analyze these tests to research shortcomings, failures, reworks, and to see if new or better features are needed. First and foremost, our team would like to thank our technical director, Jamie Murdoch, for his dedication and time, not only to us, but to the project. The passion Jamie shows day in and day out shows our team he truly cares for the project and wants to see the best possible outcome. The team is eternally grateful to be working alongside him. We would also like to thank Joe Gundel for joining the team. We are extremely grateful for Joe to take the time out of his busy schedule to assist and guide our team in software development. We would also like to thank the University of Rhode Island for providing its students with the experience, knowledge, and resources for us to succeed with this project. And lastly, we would like to thank Dr. Hari Sunak for curating the best capsule design program. Thank you for giving us the opportunity as engineering students to finally apply our skills for practical use.